When it comes to disaster recovery, there's a myriad of issues you can look into, um, a number of solutions depending on your scenario. Today we're going to focus on performing an annual trial restore, why it's important and how you'd go about doing that. So the first thing is you've got um, your servers and they're backing up to either an on-site drive PAPS tape technology if using older technology or um, PAPS these days you've already moved the backup into the cloud. Um, and so that's great, um, the backup software on a daily basis um, or even more, more often than that, actually some of them hourly um, are going to give you a notification as to whether they suc were successful or failed um, and that's great. What that has told you though is that it thinks it's backed up fine, um, certainly to restore a single file is probably going to be not a problem at all. The question becomes if my servers actually go down entirely, I lose my site, I lose my hardware, whatever is the case, and I need to resurrect my system on dissimilar hardware, as in bring another box in or something like that, can I actually restore the system in its entirety? So that's what this test is about. What we do is we take the um, rotating um, drive that you're taking off site um, from its off-site location or the data in the cloud and we actually restore that onto a separate physical box um, or we can actually resurrect it in the cloud itself and so then what happens is we have assumed you've lost your equipment um, what we do is then say okay well if you've had a total meltdown all we're going to have is this device that you've got off site with that have we been able to restore it onto separate hardware and how long did it take until your operation was up and going again and that is the whole point of performing annual trial restore.